All right, hello. Welcome to my new Wario series. I've done basically every Wario Land game on the channel, except for two. The first game and Virtual Boy Wario Land. So, I have actually played this game before. Unlike uh, Wario Land 2, 3, and 4, which I've never played, I have actually played this one. But I don't think I've 100%ed this one before. So, that's a little different. <laughs> Anyways. We're gonna see, um... Well, first let's see if I have my control set up correctly, even. I guess we'll find out. So yeah, um... To 100% this Wario game, I know that you have to, um... Okay, good, the controls are correct then. I know 100% this game, you have to get all the treasures, and you also have to get a decent amount of coins. Which, um... You know, getting all the treasures, that's easy enough, but getting enough money is kind of a problem. <laughs> Because you kind of have to get lucky with the coin mini games. So, yeah. But yeah, okay, so I guess I'll share my story with this game, because why not? It sounds like fun. I played this game uh, on the gate on the 3DS Virtual Console. When it came out on the Virtual Boy, or not Virtual Boy, the uh, Virtual Console on Game Boy, on 3DS, uh, that's how I played this game. And that was like, I don't want to say that was like s at least 10 years ago by now, honestly. <laughs> I really don't remember, it's been a long time. And to be honest, I don't even remember what ending I got. I don't even know if I got all the treasures or not. Also, I forgot to mention, um, I am playing with a, um, a mod, well, a ROM hack. This is the, uh, this is Wario Land with color, which, um, kind of a no-brainer to play the game this way, honestly, since it makes it look a lot like Wario Land 2, and I think that's a good thing. I mean, yes, I could play the game in, uh, I could play the game, you know, in, on the Game Boy as it originally was, and get no color. But that's no fun, because I've already played the game without color uh, all those years ago. So I thought it would be fun if I, um, you know, play it with color. It'd be kind of... It'd kind of give a bit of a fresh experience, especially since, you know, I haven't played this game in a long-ass time anyway. Um, I don't really have, like, any goals for these episodes. I'm just gonna, like, do some levels. We're gonna chill. And that's just that's just how it's gonna go. We're gonna try and get as much moony as possible. <laughs> now, I think, technically, I can get down there. But I'm not gonna bother. <laughs> that's for later. One thing I think that's pretty cool about this game is, um... There are secret exits, just like, you know, your typical Mario World kind of level. Also, yeah, Wario's a greedy bitch. He needs, he needs a hundred hearts for a one-up. Not sure why Wario's like that. That's just kind of how he is. Well, I forgot that's a thing that the uh, helmet can do. Yeet. Oh yeah, so this guy is teaching you that to end levels, you have to have at least 10 coins, essentially. Alright, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna play the coin minigame. And, uh, we're gonna get a weight on our head. Reverse psychology is a blessing. I'm gonna be honest, I'm probably just gonna pick left every time. <laughs> Yeah. 
Yo, let's fucking go. Left every time. So, here's the thing. Um, there's a good chance you can uh, break even with that. Like, you can get two, um, you can get two money bags, and then you get, like, a weight. And honestly, that's fine, because the weight, the weight, uh, halves your money. And the money bag doubles your money, essentially. Well, honestly, if I'm, if I'm gonna get that lucky every time, getting, uh, getting, um, what'd you call it? Getting the true ending might not be too bad, honestly. <laughs> I think the only game I'll actually have to play in the original... Well, when I play Virtual Boy Wario Land, uh, eventually... I might even do it after I beat this game, to be honest. Uh, also, I know this is important for later. When I eventually play Virtual Boy Wario Land, I'm not even gonna play that in the original color. I'm gonna play, um... I'm gonna play that with, um, I think Game Boy Colors? I remember one night I was kind of messing around with, um... I was kind of messing around with, like, the colors of Virtual Boy Wario Land. But yes, I do have it, so technically I can play it. It's just... I don't, I'm not sure when I'll play it. Oh yeah, here, so that's the Dragon Helmet. I'm gonna be real, though. I think the Dragon Helmet's probably the worst of the, uh, three power-ups in this game. So you have the Bull Helmet which, uh, lets you stick to ceilings. It also lets you, uh, ground pound through blocks and smash blocks a bit easier. There's the dragon helmet, which doesn't really do much. Like, I think the only benefit it really has over the others is it, like, it can, um, like, shoot blocks that you can't reach by yourself, I think. And then there's the wing helmet, which is, uh, probably the best one. <laughs> Oh, these guys bounce you up. I was trying to kill these guys. The, the, the jet helmet lets you, um, boost through, uh, the air. It's basically Wario's, um... Kind of just Wario's feather slash carrot slash raccoon leaf of this game. That's basically what it is. I think you don't get any, um... I'm not sure if you get any, like brick-breaking abilities with it, though. That's the only problem. Oh, and if you have a power-up already, you can get, um... You get ten hearts. So that's also helpful. Also, another thing you can do is... Uh, you can pay ten coins to activate the checkpoint. Or, if you're a greedy bastard, you can choose not to pay the checkpoint and, get, and keep the ten coins. Uh, so basically, it's what Shovel Knight would do, like, all those years later. <laughs> if there's one thing I remember about Shovel Knight, even though I haven't played that game, it's that, um, you can destroy checkpoints and get money. <laughs> Which is kind of- honestly, I like that. It's a really neat risk versus reward thing. Yeah, so the Bull Helmet's pretty useful. You can, you can never go wrong with it. Oh, here's the here's the jet. What the fuck are they doing out there? Eh, whatever. Yeah, so you can't ground pound with it, unfortunately. That's uh yeah, that's the downside. You can't ground pound with the jet helmet. But the fact that it lets you fly more than makes up for it, honestly. Yeah. You also move faster with it, so it's, uh, pretty good for speedruns. <laughs> I imagine the, um, speedrunners really like this one. <laughs> Alright, you go so far with that. Like, honestly, I'm impressed with how good that is. It's way better over there, I remember. <laughs> So I can just breeze on through the rest of this level if there's nothing else here. I think... Okay, well, we get to show up Small Wario. <laughs> I was gonna say, if I don't get hit, 
I can just keep the, um... What do you call it? I can just keep the jet and, like, cruise through all these levels. Oh, bro, I hate this guy, dude. He's, he's in the way. Oh, I got a free dragon helmet. Well, we can show off the fire now. It's not bad. It has it has range. It's good for those spiky lads, I suppose. And there's probably something up there. I think I need to keep the jet helmet to get up there. Though the reason I don't like actually I think I remember the reason I don't like the dragon helmet. It's because you can't dash with it. That's what that's what I find annoying about it. I remember when I played this game as a kid. I actually got stuck here, because I didn't know you have to press up and B, even though the tutorial literally says it in the background. Like, here, dumbass. Press- press up and B. I know there's a way you can speed up Wario's- I know there's a way you can make Wario go faster in the ending of the level. See, I think in like 99 times out of 100, you pretty much want to always go for the coin minigame. We're gonna get all weights this time. <laughs> nah. So you can break even like that. Get bit back some of your money. If you're lucky, you can get another money bag. Yeah. So I, I even though I got one of the, I got one weight, I still got more money. <laughs> so yeah, you can break even that way. It's pretty nice. I mean, like, if, if, you're, if you get absolute dog shit luck, you could get three weights. But, you're gonna be playing that minigame a lot anyway, so... I'd say it's worth doing, honestly. I wanna go back to this level real quick. Yeah, Wario moves really pitifully slow when he has the dragon, so... You, you, you mostly want to get rid of the dragon as soon as possible. Also, Wario gets a bit of coyote time with, um... I don't know if he gets that as normal Wario. Anyways, we're gonna try and keep this for the whole level. I'm gonna try and avoid this bastard. Oh, there's a secret up here. I didn't know this is where the secret was. Also, lumps. Okay, I didn't think I was gonna get hit there. <laughs> yeah, kill that guy. These are basically thwomps. I don't know if they have a name or not. Ow. Those guys have weird hitboxes, to be fair. Alright, we're gonna take it a bit easy, because I don't have uh, any hit points left. And yes, Wario can, in fact, die in this game. <laughs> I know, crazy. Wario's so used to not dying, but he can, in fact, die in this game. Just some hearts. Is that all that's up there? Weird. I thought there'd be a bit more, honestly. <laughs> I swear, if you really if you really suck at this game, you could just be stuck with small Wario like the whole damn game. <laughs> it's not fun. Woo! I just bounce. I just knocked that guy. Oh, and also you become Big Wario at the end of a level, too. I forgot about that, though. <laughs> I definitely don't remember that. Yes, I know I'm boring. I'm gonna pick left every time. But, like, it's literally, it's literally luck based. You might as well just pick the same one every time and not feel shitty about yourself, you know? 
Oh yeah, I'm guaranteed to break even now. You could leave. You know, you could leave, but once you get two bags, but I don't know. Better to go better to go crazy than to go broke. <laughs> Look, I got 184 coins from barely even getting any money. Well, and I don't think you can skip this. I don't think you can skip the money screen. <laughs> Yeah, we're almost, we're only like, what, like two levels in, I already almost have a thousand coins. And you probably get more money later in the game, so, yeah. Oh yeah, these fucking crab dudes. I think you can only hit them from behind. These guys are kind of annoying. And you can't jump on them either. I don't, there's, I don't even know what to call this music. It's just Wario music. Like, Wario has, like, such a, a weird, distinct, like, style that you can just tell, like, oh, yep, that's Wario music. It's hard to describe. Oh, yeah, and these guys are harmless. They can't hurt you, so you can use them as fodder. Well, I see a secret down there, so I'm gonna just get all this moon me first. Some of the sand kind of broke, or unless that's intentional, I can't tell. Free money! Oh yeah, there's all those guys that throw daggers. Yeah, they're nice enough to give you a bowl. I can't tell if this is... I know there are treasures in this game, but I haven't unlocked any yet. They don't come immediately. But I know there is a treasure in the very first level. What's in here? Okay, this is a checkpoint room? Yeah, the great thing about Wario levels is that they're very open-ended. They have a lot of, um... They're not, like, typically, you know, get to the goal. A lot of them are just like, hey, go around and look at some shit, you know? Which is something I've always liked about Wario, is that Wario's not quite, uh... Let's just say he's not quite cut and dry, I guess? I don't know if these are... I don't know if I can fall down these. Well, I suppose I can come- I, I don't think I can. Oh, right, when you kill enemies, you get hearts, too. But you can fall down here. I don't think there's anything- Oh, there is something down here, never mind. There's a heart down here. So there was something to get from coming down here. Oh, but you can't- you can't go back up that way. my knowledge, I don't really think there's actually that many bottomless pits in this game. Oh wait, hang on. I kinda just found that by accident. I did find it funny though that in Mario Land 1, um, heart, one heart gives Mario an extra life, but in this game, Wario, he needs, he needs multiple. <laughs> This quicksand's kind of annoying. <laughs> okay, there. so there is absolutely a way to get up there, and I don't know how. Ah. Oh. Maybe not? It really feels like I can get up there, though. Well, I suppose I can always come back here later. Wait, actually, hang on. I think you can get up there once you... Oh wait, the hitbox goes away. Okay, we can come back to this level, though. Most times you can just come back to a level, because most of the time they have secret exits anyway. Either secret exits or treasures. They have uh, plenty of stuff to get. 
Or he looks so sad with himself when he gets a frickin' ton, weight, weight ton dropped on his head. <laughs> that frickin' crushed warrior sprite, though, is so amazing. <laughs> I think I have that saved on my hard drive somewhere. <laughs> Man, the weight is not as common as I thought it was as a kid. Okay, so that's that level has a secret exit then. The first world doesn't really take that long. Oh, this music's great. As far I'm pretty sure- well, there's 30 courses in this level, and you're gonna be replaying a lot of them. Because, um, you're trying to get all the secrets in all of the levels. I think- I think it's- it's levels like these, where you- you basically need to have the bowl helmet. And that's why, uh, they usually start you off as Big Wario, because only Big Wario can, uh, shoulder bash. Bro, where did that thwomp go? There he is. Bro, it was pretty slow. Oh, these little devil dudes? They're kind of assholes. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna just kill them because I feel like it. <laughs> got hit there. Yeah, get more- ten more hearts from that. <laughs> Oops, all auto-scroller. Well, it's not really an auto-scroller, it's a chase sequence, which- Chase sequences are chase sequences are basically just more exciting auto-scrollers. <laughs> That's pretty much what they are. Not only have an actual thwomp. So, a fun fact, all the end- the- the- that- oh, oh, that's the end of the level already. Those guys with the spears, if I'm not mistaken, I think they're called wandering- they're- I think they're called, like, spear goon- gooms or something. You know, I might have to look that up. <laughs> let me see, let me go to the good old- let me go to the good old Mario wiki and look it up. Actually, while I'm doing that, I'll play the- I'll play the coin game. Uh, Mario wiki. It's a 10-ton weight. <laughs> What's it called? Spike Goom? Wan- It's not Wander- Is it- Is it Wandering Goom? Oh yeah, it is. And then, uh... Let's see. Let's see. Let's see if I break even or not. No, that time I got the 10-ton the weight every time. So that's a case of, uh, you really got, you really get, uh, you know, your shit kicked in. Oh, they're called Pirate Gooms. What, well, they're, um... Oh, I see. Because their, um, their Japanese name is, um, Kuri Kuri, which is, uh, you know, part of Goomba's Japanese name. So that's probably why they called them Gooms. You know, I don't, they're not related to Goombas at all. <laughs> also, I believe this is the boss level. Oh, also, you can leave the level if you want to. That's another thing I find kind of interesting. You can just say, like, nah, I'm not ready for this level yet, and just, like, leave it. I didn't realize that boss levels actually aren't just a boss. They also have a like a lead, a build up to them. Who would have who would have guessed? I 
but never would have guessed that uh, a boss though would actually have a level in it. It's almost like that's how things are normally. <laughs> you know, like take uh, any of the Koopaling fortresses, for example. Okay, I definitely don't remember these guys. What the fuck is happening? Where are you guys going? Like, you're, only, you're only in like a circle. Okay, so that's a checkpoint. Um, we'll use the checkpoint. It's a boss. Oh, and also if you miss, you can, uh, you can do that. Oh, fat penguin dudes. Forgot about those guys. Yeah, you're a penguin dude. It's not very nice of Wario's power-ups to not, like, um, disappear and, like, go a different direction when you when you open them. What's the deal with these guys? Also, will those hearts despawn? Let's we'll see if the game is smart. Oh, they're still there. That's actually really nice. Boom. See, if this was like any other game, those hearts would be gone, which is bad design. But in the case of this, they actually stay there. <laughs> oh, here's the boss. This guy is kind of a Koopa Troopa. And I'm already dying. Oops. Very glad I, I, I used the save point then. <laughs> If hard selling you die, you lose all your moon me, which is no good. If I ever die in a level, I'm probably not gonna worry about the money too much. Or, yeah. Because, uh, worrying about the money is just, you know, annoying. <laughs> if you die mo- if you're gonna die, like, ten times, you're gonna forget about the money sooner or later. So we'll just hit this block. And, uh, I guess we'll get the hearts, though. The hearts are definitely worth getting. Anyways, I'm gonna go fight the boss. The boss isn't that far away, so... It's chill. My question is, can I ram him? I don't know if I can. I think you have to wait. I'm just gonna see if I know how to fight him. I think that's when you, know, you want to hit him. That's the time to hit him, I see now. God damn it. Well, now I'm definitely not beating him anytime soon. Oh, you can hit him from below. Okay. I wasn't sure if you had to hit him from above or what. Or below, I mean. Above or below, it doesn't matter. Okay, well now that I know you can do that, it's not entirely clear how you're supposed to hit that guy. Okay, at least I know now. Yeah, I can't believe I died to the first boss twice. Shameful. Now, if I kill that penguin, I'll get a free one-up. There we go. <laughs> Frickin' Wario's, like, hand. I mean, hey, every time you die, at least you get, like, 30 hearts, so, you know? <laughs> you get one free chance for every two- every three times you die. It all balances out. I think I did eventually end up fighting this guy, though. And, um... I think I got stuck on the... the second world of the game. 
Oops. Got him. Alright, let's get, get all the money. I think, if I'm not mistaken, I believe that's a one-time thing. You only get that money once in the whole game. So yeah, almost every single time you want to go money, like I was saying, even if it's a 10-ton weight, <laughs> it's still better than going for the hearts, because the hearts are literally only for lives, and lives don't mean too much if you can get a decent amount of them. Alright, I'll take 60. I mean, money is money. If you're still getting money, it doesn't matter too much, right? <laughs> no treasures. But yeah, that's the that's the first world done in like half an hour. I know. Okay, so here's where I got stuck as a kid, I think. Well, actually, no. Mount Teapot is not where I got stuck. You see that ice and you see that glacier in the background? That's where I got stuck as a kid. Because what I didn't know is that um that ice world is actually completely optional. You never have to go there at all. Anyways, once you beat the boss, you'll notice that the beach gets flooded. Yeah. Which is really interesting. So you actually have an incentive to return to the old levels, because now now that it's flooded, you can actually go get that secret that you missed. And I think a few other things open up. So, already, that's just one really, really cool thing about this game, is that... You have levels that actually change upon completing them. Like, I don't... I can't think of any Mario level that does that prior to this. Are there any Mario levels that do that, where they change if you've beaten a world or something? I don't think so. Anyways, I believe it's down here? Okay, I don't think it's down here, but... We can at least get this this money. Get, get uh, 69 hearts, very nice. I'm gonna let this guy pass. <laughs> He just- he just dies instantly. It's pretty silly. Alright, let me pass. One thing that I always forget in this game, is that if you hold up when jumping, Wario jumps way higher. And that's something that you're actually gonna need to remember later. Also, I think the dragon helmet does work underwater. So that is one W for the dragon helmet, but that's about the only good thing I can say about it. So, if you're doing a water level, the dragon helmet's actually uh, pretty good. Anyways, I think this is gonna be our first treasure of the game, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, we're gonna see if we need that dragon helmet or not. I don't think you actually need it. Well, there is a block here. No, that just gives you a 3-up. Okay, that's not a treasure, then... Eh, I'll just leave the dragon. Uh, like, I'm almost never gonna go for the dragon, unless, like, I, I either need it, or I really need a power-up. <laughs> but other than that, I'm probably going to skip out on it, because it's just not good. Kills your mobility. You can't, you can't, um, shoulder bash with it either. Well, well it's basically the same thing. <laughs> oh no, this guy is here. Yeah, I'm gonna wait for you to go past. So, we didn't actually find any treasures in that level, we just found a, um, 3-up instead. I mean, that's still decent. 
there. We're gonna have slow Wario for a little while. I know he gets faster, though. I don't remember what triggers him to get faster, but I just know he does. And, um, it's pretty great. Yo, money, more money! Alright, well, I'll take 96 then. Also, I just realized those buckets are oddly similar to the ones that would be featured in uh, Mario and Wario later in, in, the, in the SNES's life. Or I guess the Super Famicom, I should say. I don't think this level actually gets affected. So, yeah, we're gonna skip that one, but we are gonna go back here. I think that- I, I think this is the only other level that gets affected. Bruh. Yeah, that's why I hate about those crabs. They have really janky hitboxes. Oh yeah, there's just a key now here. <laughs> that was not there before, so we gotta go find a key somewhere. Yeah, here's here's a good example of the dragon helmet working on their water. It turns into little arrows. Kinda neat. Okay, well there's the key right there. Actually, I think you always need a key to get the treasures. Um... So how do I even give the key? Do I just eat? Okay. So that's how you get treasures, I think. Thankfully, you can open treasure chest with the dragon helmet. If it couldn't, that would be another L on the dragon helmet's part. Yeet. So I believe the treasures are in order of level. I think, um, most levels have a treasure. Um, also, can I just leave the level? <laughs> I can just leave the level, right, after I get that treasure? I think I can. I think so. Does this level change, or is this the same? No, I think, um... I think that level's unchanged. I think, I think it's just these two that get changed. So yeah, that's uh, World 1. If I miss anything, I'll come back for it uh, probably next episode. What I'll probably do is I probably won't look up shit until I'm done with the episode, and then I'll look it up off screen, and then at the start of the next episode, then I can start with being like, hey, I missed this, you know? And then we can go get it, is what I'm thinking I'll probably do. We got some bombs. An interesting game mechanic here. But also these frickin' birds. Um... I could've sworn there was something up here. That might be in a different level. I love how derpy these frickin' seahorses look. So yeah, I, uh, so in fact, my SSD did come today, and, uh, one of these days this week, I'm getting it set up, and, um, we're gonna have some faster speed gameplay. Oh, look at all these, like, random blocks I'm finding. I can't even be mad, because they're giving me coins. Oh, they all gave me coins. Pretty nice. So we're gonna owl. I need a. I'm gonna need a. Um. Yeah, I should have kept the dragon helmet. Dang it. Really should have. I don't think these guys can hit you if you're on the ground. Oh, those things can also explode the, uh, blocks. 
Thankfully, I have, like, better knowledge of, um... You know, I have better knowledge of how hitboxes and stuff work. So... I can, you know, not panic and not die as often. Kind of interesting, they introduced this mechanic on land, and yet I've only seen it underwater so far. It's kind of funny. Yeah, I definitely need to get the dragon helmet for this level. This is one level where I'd say it actually would be very useful. <laughs> Get some hearts. There's probably something else. There's probably something up there as well. Well, it'd be nice if I could kill that seahorse, dude. We're gonna we're gonna strut slowly across the sea floor. Maybe get me a. Uh, well, I mean, I would love to get that heart, but I don't know how to get up there. There's, there's gonna be a bird waiting to snipe me up here, isn't there? Surprisingly, not. Nah, he was on a different side of the map entirely. Get out of my way, buddy. It's still going. Um, I don't know if there's anything down there. I don't know if I want to find out. Maybe I'll do it after I replay this level. I'm gonna run out of juice now. Very sad. I'm gonna try and go shopping tomorrow, even though it's, you know, everything's covered in snow. Which really sucks. <laughs> yeah. Alright, double money. And I already had 76 coins. I mean, if you just, as long as you don't get two weights, you're fine. <laughs> two or three weights. You get like one, it's like, okay. So this one has a secret in it. This almost looks like this almost looks identical to the level I just played. Okay, so yeah, you need okay, so you need you actually do need the um the bull helmet to ground pound then. I think that's the I think that's the only one that can ground pound then. Interesting. I can't ground pound those from bolt from above though. <laughs> they also have this freaking crab in the way too. <laughs> and also, you can swim against the current. Man, uh, Wario Land Three Wario will be so proud of you <laughs> because Wario Land Three Wario can't swim very good against currents. So that's where we need to go. I don't think there's anything up here. But you never know. Sometimes it can happen. Ooh, there's a jet helmet. I kind of actually wonder, can I, f can I fly across uh, the level with this? It's worth a try. Yeah, look, look at how freaking useful Jet Helmet is. So good. Well, you don't get that coyote time that you do with the, um... 
that you get with the uh, bull helmet, unfortunately, but it, it's still good. There's a heart here. Oh shit. Oh shit. Almost got hit there, could have been really bad. <laughs> Those, those mines are pretty dangerous on land. Maybe it's a better thing that they're in the water first. Okay, we got a checkpoint and a bolt or any wing helmet. Or jet. I don't know what it's called. I could just go in the room with that. Oh! That's another thing that can happen. Um. When, sometimes when you... I, did, I actually kind of forgot about that feature. When you go through a door, sometimes things will turn into ten coins. That's kind of neat. I'm not sure how that works exactly. <laughs> What's the logistics of that, but... It's pretty cool. Oh, and the, the jet helmet also works underwater. It's just very slow, unfortunately. Well, if I need the if I need the bull helmet, I know where to go. Do I need this guy for anything? I don't think there's anything up there. Oh boy. This is a very dangerous room. I'm safe I'm safe here at least. I don't know if, I don't know if I wanna know what's in all of these uh blocks. Also these aren't spikes, these are um Oh boy. I can swim against this. Wow, that is a very scary room. <laughs> okay, I got a heart. I think there is something up here though. Yes. There is. This is a secret exit, I think. I think that's what the deal was with that other level. But maybe Wario was only going faster because he had the jet helmet. I don't know. Double moon me. Yeah, I ran out of juice, so uh, no more hydration for the rest of the night. Because I, you know, don't have any juice left. I might go make some tea, though. Tea is nice. You know, no balls. Yeah! See? That's why I pick the same one every time, because shit like that can happen. You could just get, like, 440 coins for free. Just hand, just hand it out to you like that. So we're already past 1k. Yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty nice. Man, we got, we got 1.3k. 1.4k, dang. I, I need to remind myself, how do you get the, um... Oh, this is how you get to the ice world. Okay, so fun fact. This area is completely in its own, it's like a, its own area. Beating this place does not actually take you anywhere, which is why where I got so stumped as a kid Because what I didn't realize is I was supposed to beat that previous level normally I never got the normal exit and I didn't realize that's what I was supposed to do So yeah, that's what you're supposed to do uh, Wario land one Ending guide because I know there's a there, there's a way I know there's a way to get each of the endings um, do I, I don't want to read a game facts. I want to just look. I just want to know how you get each of the endings, bro. Mario Wiki will probably say. <laughs> um, probably in the plot. Yeah. Okay, so. Let's see. Um, okay, it says here, um, 
The more coins and treasure he collects, the better his home will be. Um... Okay. So, to get the- to get the- to get the moon, which I don't know if I'm gonna get the moon, but I might try. To get the moon, you need, uh, 90,000 coins, and you have to have found 30- uh, how many treasures are there? I think there's 24, or 26. You can only miss one treasure. Wait, right, 15 treasures, it says. So yeah, to get the moon, you need 99,000 coins, 15 treasures, and you have to beat all 40 levels. Oh, there's 40 levels. Okay, I don't know. I thought there were 30 for some reason. Um, But yeah, you need a lot of freaking money to get anywhere in this game. Although, do the treasures give money? That's what I'm not sure about. Hmm. I don't remember if that's how that works. Maybe, we'll see. Um, I'm not gonna do this world yet, though. I'm gonna come back to it. We're gonna actually, you know, not make the mistake that 10-year-old me made, and, uh, you know, not do this level the proper way. Actually, how old was I when I played this game? Well, whenever it came to Virtual Console, I guess. <laughs> so, that would've been what? Um, I was probably like 12. Oh yeah, we can also just skip over all this. <laughs> you just not don't get hit by the birds, you know. So yeah, let's actually beat the level properly this time. You know, we'll get all the money, too. The explosion's not as big as you'd think it would be, though. Yeah, you know, we don't need no stinking checkpoint this time. I'm greedy. I can get through this myself. I'll, um... I'll, I'll get some money. Thankfully, Wario's hitbox isn't too big. It's only actually- it's only actually one block wide, even though it looks way wider than it is. Uh, figures that would happen. I think you get, a uh, garlic soon, though. Yeah, it's telling you, like, hey, you should go up there. Oh, yeah, yeah, the, the secret exit, or the normal exit is literally right next to the secret exit. Yeah, it's not that far off. See how Wario is getting, like, way faster now? <laughs> I don't know why he does that. It's so ra It's so weird. <laughs> no, my money, dude. Okay, so it rounds down if it's an odd number. Interesting. No, my money again. <laughs> I only got nine coins, bruh. It's pitiful. Oh yeah, I guess there is only uh, 15 treasures. Why the fuck does it go from A? It goes from A to O. Why does it stop at O? That's really weird. You'd think they'd just do the whole alphabet at that point, but nope. Fifteen's good enough. <laughs> I want to say this one. I could probably beat Mount Teapot tonight since I'm having a good time. I wasn't sure how long I'd have wanted to play for tonight. Oh, this is some wild music, too. This isn't even really music. It's more like... Chiptune atmosphere? <laughs> that's, that's the... That's, I don't know. This soundtrack's really unique for that reason. 
don't think there's a secret exit in this. Wow. Frickin' crab and seahorse at the same time. Mm, I wonder if this is one of those games where your lives reset when you, like, reset the game. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I want to find out, honestly. I fucking hate these crabs' hitboxes. Like, you'll hit them from, like, the bottom, and it'll still count as a hit. Eat. Wandering Loom. Yeah, it's honestly, you know, quite amazing how much color can bring to a game. It brings so much life. And yes, there is a secret up there. I don't know if you're supposed to see that there's an exit up here, but... I don't mind. That's just a checkpoint, okay. I know in one of these levels there is, uh, a secret like that. I don't know if this is that level. All these frickin' dumbass penguin dudes. I'm gonna kick his ass. I gotta hear you dumb penguin bozo. Yeah, you can just rocket rocket boost them, shove them out of the way, you know? And I just handing these out at this point. I know there is a secret behind one of these waterfalls. That is something I remember about this game. Well, I think by default you jump higher with um Oh, yes, I think this is where the secret is. Hold on. Yes, yes, there is a secret there. That gives... 100 coins! 100 coins, and I have to find the secret exit somehow. So remember that, remember that, that that's there. Actually, I think the key's, like, right here. <laughs> yep. <laughs> So this is our second treasure. I don't know if this is the second treasure of the game. But, yeah. So every time you see one of those skull things to put your key in, that's how you know there's a treasure. This is the one room in the game that actually looks like it belongs on the Game Boy. Okay, no, I haven't missed a treasure yet. I definitely will miss some treasures, though, and that's that's probably when I'll have to boot, bust... Uh, Boost up the guide? No. Bust out the guide. But I'm gonna try and get as many of these as I can without using it. And we'll see. We'll see which ones I miss. Because <laughs> I know there can be some pretty cryptic ones. What are these freaking weird ass enemies? Oh, but I got a lot of moon me from that level. This would, be the this would be a great level to get a 10-ton weight multiple times. <laughs> Depending on the level that you play, it is pretty easy to get, like, a free 999 coins. Just from playing this minigame. Sadly, it's not looking like one of those times. E no, I lost my money, bro. I could have easily had, um... Well, I could have had 999 easily, but... Oh well, that's just how it goes sometimes. Sometimes you'll hit the jackpot, and other times you don't. And I think that's the great thing. As a kid, I hated that, because I was like, No, I don't want to lose my hard-earned money. And now I'm, nowadays I'm just like, you know, that's how it goes sometimes. Sometimes you'll hit the jackpot, and sometimes you don't hit the jackpot. You know, it's like speed running a game. Sometimes you'll get a really good run-in, and other times, you'll just completely whiff it. That's how I feel when I play, uh, the Paper Mario Rando so much. <laughs> and I got pretty bored of the Rando. There is a lot in this level. Mostly water. Aha! There is 
there's a way to get up here. I don't think there's actually anything else up there, though. I just skipped over, like, a crap ton of the levels. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, I skipped all this crap down here. That, okay, that time I just accidentally got up there. Yeah, sure, I'll... Oh, wait, no, I didn't want to grab that. Shit. Can I redo the level? Did I, did I... I need to go back. I need to replay the level and get my jet back. I mean, thankfully they let you do that. Do you even keep the money? I don't think you keep the money when you leave a level. Course number... We're already at course number 10, by the way. I mean, do you think, like, whoa, we're, we're, we're core done the game already? I mean, I wouldn't say so. <laughs> wouldn't say we're necessarily a quarter done, but it does feel like that. I mean, this game isn't that long compared to the other Wario Land games, obviously. It is the first of its kind, and they were kind of figuring out what they wanted to do with the Wario series, you know? They didn't know yet. They just knew, like, hey, we want to... We want to do something with Wario, you know? Also, now that I think about it... Oh shit, those are spikes? Now that I think about it, the Dragon Helmet is kind of useless because the Jet Helmet can break blocks too. <laughs> so there's actually no reason for, to ever pick up the Dragon Helmet. Anyways, Garlic will make you into normal size Wario. And if you get a Garlic as normal size Wario, then you get the Bull Helmet by default. That's just kind of how that works. Oh, here's another jet helmet. Alright, you, you gotta you gotta go. You gotta get out of the way, buddy. Well, I don't think I can get under there. I think I have to be small Wario for that one. Well, no way am I wait, hang on. It's just coins down there, right? Yeah, I'm not missing much. It's very rare that they ever give you a reason to be small, Wario. Yeah, there's a dragon right there. I mean, it couldn't hurt to grab if you, um... You know, just shits and giggles, I'm gonna do this. Okay. Also, the jet helmet might be more OP than I thought. <laughs> Because you can use it multiple times. Oh, let me test something. You can kind of chain it, actually. Wow, you can chain the crap out of that. Wow, okay. Go, uh, go jump helmet. Or not jump helmet. Go, uh... Get helmet, I guess. I'm going to get the bowl so I can ground pound these. Well, what about the coins? Where do the coins take me? I love how, like, astronomically slow Wario falls in this game. <laughs> That's pretty charming, honestly. Okay, so what we have in here? I think this is just the checkpoint? Oh, nope, there's money down here. Is there anything down here? Oh, that's a pit! Okay, so there are pits in this game, then. I wasn't sure. I, I didn't know if there were pits in this game or not. You might be thinking of a different Mario game, honestly. What's, what's, the, what's the one Wario game that doesn't have pitfalls in it? Um, well, I guess Wario Land Shake It doesn't have pitfalls. Actually, most of the Wario games don't have pits. <laughs> I don't think Land 2 th or 3 have pitfalls in them. I mean, not that they need to, because you're invisible in those games. Like, the thing is, is that... To make up for Wario Land 2 and 3 not having pitfalls, 
what they do instead is they just waste your time. <laughs> Fuck, I did it again. Imagine if Small Wario couldn't lift up coins. He's so sad. Will be very make me very sad, Zay. Actually, I guess since I was small, where I could have gone in there and saw what was in there. I'm, I'm gonna try and do these stages without um without using checkpoints if I can. Like unless the level is like that shit difficult, I probably won't need to use the checkpoint system. Alright, I want my money back. I want I want the money again. I like how the garlic is just not colored <laughs> because they he didn't need to. Okay, well now that I know that pits exist, because I think that's the first time I've ever encountered a pit in this game. So I mean that's pretty helpful to know. Do do do. Uh, this is a very satisfying screen transition sound effect, I gotta say. You know, I don't know why I always get the feeling that, like, you know, streamers are supposed to talk about shit besides the game. I don't know exactly where I got that mindset from, and I'm kind of starting to think, like, maybe I shouldn't. <laughs> maybe I shouldn't be like that. Like, if I don't have shit to say, you know, about, you know, if I, if I only have shit to say, on the, uh... So let's get this guy out of here. Bro, what the fuck? Like, if I have nothing to say about, like, you know, like, random crap, you know, I just shouldn't... shouldn't worry about it. I shouldn't feel like I, I'm forced to talk about, you know, stuff besides games. I don't know. Well, I, I guess we're not gonna find out what's in these blocks. Maybe we'll find out on a re on another playthrough. At least we got a. At least we got a garlic. I guess that would be a good use for the dragon helmet right there. Oh, there's gotta be something up there. Can I get one of those birds to respawn? Actually, wait. I have an idea. Respawn. He's gone, bro. He doesn't want to show up now. Oh, we got thwomps again. How dickish it would be if, if thwomps could cause you to slip off the ladder. He's getting faster. Warrior's getting faster, man. He's motivated to get that treasure. He wants that moolah. No, my money. And yes, you can technically leave this minigame early. But, I'm just gonna- all I'm gonna say is, you know, just go all in. And sometimes you just gotta deal with the consequences. But <laughs> like seriously, how the fuck are you actually supposed to get ninety nine thousand coins legitimately? Should I go for the moon ending? <laughs> Is what I'm thinking. I don't know. I don't know if I should go for the moon ending or not. Like you'd have to do some serious grinding to get that. And who knows, maybe there is a, like, definitive level to, um, get money easily. No, that's just boring, because then you're gonna be replaying the same level over and over to try and get money. And that's also not fun. Yeah, we're never, uh, it's just, you know, very sad. We're never gonna get another Wario Land game ever again. So, here I am, just, you know, spending my time 
replaying all the classics. Replaying all the Wario Land games, because, you know... We, we gotta, you know, take in just, you know, how good Wario once was. You know? And it's no surprise that uh, I've never been too fond of Wario's, uh, you know, micro game... Uh, micro game profession, I guess I could say. Yeah, I've never been too big on that. I tried WarioWare once, I think, and I just thought it was like okay. <laughs> it's like it's it's not it just doesn't hit the same though. We got garlic. We got a door. I don't know if this is the correct way. This is probably the way I'm supposed to go actually, and I accidentally missed out something. Are these guys trying to fucking poke me. I mean, unless this is a secret. Uh -uh. Well, this has to be a secret, right? Oh, there's a key up there. Um, let me guess, I'm supposed to... Yep. Oh, please tell me the key stays there. <laughs> okay, good, it does. Yeet. You know what, you know what, um... You know what that noise kind of sounds like? It kind of sounds like my, um, timer. Sounds like my timer when um, I'm in a VC <laughs> because it doesn't play my um, doesn't play my frickin' uh, my actual alarm noise. My alarm noise is the frickin' Mega Man X5 um, zero stage clear theme. <laughs> Hold on, let me let me find that. Uh, just give it a sec. See, this would load a lot quicker if I had an SSD too. <laughs> It's, um, it's this. That's my fucking alarm noise. <laughs> well, not alarm, but my timer noise <laughs> when, like, the timer's up. That's what it plays. I don't know why I have it set to that. It's just been like that for, like, three to four years now. And I've just kind of, it's just kind of been that way. Okay, I don't know what that other pathway was all about. I'm kind of tempted to, um... Oh, this guy. This guy's kind of like, um, that one platform in Mario 3. I forgot what it's called. I'm greedy. I want all the money, bro. No matter the Wario game, you're always gonna want money. Money. Let's frickin' go. I forgot there was a star in this game. Why does he have 11? <laughs> Ooh, this is a cool looking room. Oh, Jesus. Yo, it even changed, like, the lighting in Wario, like, Wario's face. Yeah, so Mount Teapot's kind of a volcano. It's kind of like the volcano world of the game. Kind of interesting. No, my money again. <laughs> That's gonna happen a lot, trust me. I'm gonna get Proton Johned. But uh, yeah, I recently re I recently remember that yes, Proton John did a freaking playthrough of this game back when he used to do let's plays. I, I still find it funny how he like kind of faked everybody out. He's like, "Hey guys, I'm back to doing let's plays now." He uploaded like a few like a few videos and then he fucking left for like another few years. 
They got blue balls so hard, bro. Course number 12. Oh yeah, right, these bird dudes. Hang on. I think these bird dudes are actually the way you can grind. I think you actually are able to grind off these guys. Okay, what you're supposed to do... Take him... And, uh... Yeet. No, not like that, bro. Also, I think I disabled all my hotkeys by accident. I'll have to re-enable them later, because, uh... Well... I disabled most of the pesky ones that I would accidentally hit. Okay, it's a lot harder to aim that, actually. Well, eventually, I'm gonna accidentally, um... Okay, let's try this again. Bro! I can't land this. I don't know the traject- Bro, I'm, I'm studying frickin' trajectories in a Game Boy Wario Land game. What the hell is happening here? Yeah, he just shot it right over his freaking head. Maybe I'm not supposed to do that. Maybe I'm supposed to just, you know, chuck it in. Stop doing an upward throw. You ever, you ever think about trying to just do that? You ever think about just trying to chuck it in the normal way? You know, like this? So yeah, when you do that, he shits out... He shits out 30 coins for free. Which is what I wanted to do the first time. So this is a pretty good, um, this is a pretty good level for getting money, for that reason. Ah, oh, yeah, 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 so just keep doing that. Uh, are there any more goons? Yeah, I'm gonna grab this goon here. So yeah, look at all that free money I'm getting. Hearts. Oh, they just keep respawning. Unfortunately, I can't, um... I need to get another goon, bro. It'd be nice if you stopped falling in the lava, though. Oh, that counted? Okay, I wasn't expecting that. Now I want to keep my jet helmet, bro. I'm gonna, I'm gonna carry one of these guys, just in case another bird up shows up. <laughs> you never know. You never know when it's gonna show up. Eat. And another heart. Uh, these weird little ghost dudes. They're kind of like booze. No, Wario, come back. He, he, uh, he kind of, he kind of cocked up there, you know? Well, uh, all that progress is gone now. So I think you can actually just hit these guys from below. Nope. You cannot do that. Okay, well, good to know. And we try that again. Bro, what are you doing, mate? Come back. I mean, it's 30 coins for free. How could one say no? Okay, just skip the hearts. We don't need the hearts. that guy. Wait, oh, yeah, there's another bird up. <laughs> he just, he just, like, got it shoved in his ass. That time. Bro! I got so screwed out of my Moony, dude. <laughs> this is just, this is literally the whole episode. It's just me getting screwed out of Moony from these dumbass birds. I know there was a power-up somewhere here. 
mean, it doesn't matter too much. Take the free life, though. Oh, you can kill those guys. See, Wario, Wario can kill paranormal beings. <laughs> That's how you know he ain't messing around. <laughs> Wario kills paranormal beings for cash. <laughs> This is a pretty dangerous level. I might take a checkpoint if there is one. Yeah, okay, here. Ooh, I got my bull helmet now. We got some hearts. There we go, wrong with those. Yeah, enemies aren't too threatening in this game. Once you realize you can just bump them. Also, that's the how the level ends. I forgot the level ends that way. That makes the, uh, the teapot come back down. Or the, the lid of the teapot, rather. Alright, we're gonna go all in again. I ain't backing down until I get a good amount of moony. No! <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> oh no, Wario, you you're uh you you're, you're kind of not looking too good here, buddy. All right, I'll take uh I'll take that. 72 coins. I lost half my moon knee. I think that's the level that you used to grind though. You just like you just keep filling up those birds. You get 30 coins each time. Oh, that's how you get to the boss. Okay, I think we'll do the boss level and then call it an eye. I think that's pretty good, right? Hey, actually, haven't I played this level already? Watch out for those seahorses. Fuck, bro. That was a case where the, um, the, the, the helmet actually screwed me over because I got stuck to the ceiling. Also, these weird bat bomb things. Oh, he- I'm stuck. He's stuck on me. Oh, okay. Alright, wait for Mr. Krabs to go on ahead. Never mind, it's just for hearts. So, ideally, you actually do want to collect money, even if you're not planning to get that many, because, um... You can still use the hearts- or not the hearts, you can still use the money for, um, checkpoints, if you really need the checkpoint. I'm just thinking this game's gonna be like Wario Land 2, where there's just a crap ton of, um... There's a crap ton of, like, secret exits. Or, not secret exits, a uh, secret, like, un... Like, secret walls that you can break through. <laughs> I keep thinking that's gonna pop up. So this is kind of actually yeah this is this is that this was an outside level before now it's actually inside i suppose for now i'll take um the dragon helmet once i can get a better you know better power up i'll take it for now also i like how um the top of wario turns green there <laughs> Yeah, 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 this is- this is this part. Which means the checkpoint is in here. I think this time I will actually take the checkpoint. I think that'd be really wise, especially for the boss. Oh yeah, I got a bit of money back anyway. Do, do, do. Okay, so that's where I... Th I think that's where the boss is now. I don't think there's any... Th well, I don't know. Let's see. What is in here? Oh. We have a part where we gotta run from the, uh... The thwomp again.
Um, where does the thwomp go? Does he go left? Can I? I can't go through. I can't go through the platforms, unfortunately. Maybe that's for later. I don't know. I think the thwomp's gone. I think I despawned his ass. <laughs> Oh, here's the boss. Oh, I'm just cheesing him. Oh, wait, no, I have to push him off. Well, it'd be nice if I had a power-up. Oh, I, I, I thought I was cheesing him, bro. I thought I cheesed him. Okay, so don't go in there. That's where the boss is. So what about the other pathways, then? Hmm... Maybe, maybe, maybe it turns out there's just nothing here. I don't know. I mean, the crabs are here, so obviously this goes somewhere. Unless this takes you to the normal exit. <laughs> Actually, that is very possible. Oh, never mind. It takes you to the hearts. Bro, I fucking hate these stupid crabs. They're so annoying. I can't even get the coins now. I might as well just reset at this point. Well, no, I can't. No, no, kill me. I want, I want my, I want my power up back. I love how slow Wario falls. Okay, so good to know that's not worth it. I'll grab the bull helmet though. Yeah. Let's at least go grab that. So those crabs are not worth fighting, then. Yeah, I think tonight might be a good night to make some of my tea, then. I still have some of that herbal tea in the, uh, the cupboard. And it's always really good. Oh, I could have gone up there. Oh, dude, I'm so dumb. Why didn't I think of that? Oh well. Wait, let's just go and fight the boss. Yeet. That's the whole boss! That was great. I was bo that boss was piss easy, dude. <laughs> I just knocked him in, threw him in the lava, just like that. I guess it's because I am a bull myself. So I can yeet him however I please. Ooh, is this is this the is this the run? Is this the run? No, I jinxed it, dude. Well, actually you never know. Maybe we can break even, you know, we'll just, we'll just give it a try, you know, Mario's. Warrior's the man. Aw, dang. So far, I've cocked it up every time. I could have had like 600 bucks there. <laughs> yeah, that, 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 the, those 99 coins, 99,000 coins, we're definitely not getting those. Okay, so this takes you to, um, Stove Canyon. <laughs> Well, if I remember correctly... Uh, actually, I don't think you can look at the map from here. Is there a way you can look at the map? I don't think you can. But if I remember how this game works, I think it goes Stove Canyon, uh, SS Teacup, Parsley Woods, and then the final area. I forgot what it's called. So there's... what, like... Um, three, four, five... I think it's like, what, like seven worlds? So there's actually quite a decent amount. But yeah. Um, I think that'll do it for Wario Land 1 today. Uh, I'm gonna be playing this, uh, whenever I have the time to. Whenever my friends are not bugging me to play shit with them. So, yeah, that's... We'll, we'll keep at this game. This is probably gonna be my 
December game because uh, I usually play Wario Land either December or January. It's kind of a tradition at this point. So, yeah. And if I happen to finish this game, which I probably will before December ends, um, I'll do uh, another game as well. I don't know which game yet. Maybe Toho 9? I don't know. Anyways, uh, see you guys for more Wario Land in the next episode. Uh, like and subscribe to on YouTube and Twitch if you enjoyed, and I will see you guys later.